Hello and welcome to Butterfly Transformations. You are with Tanisha Ali. Beautiful, beautiful butterflies and perfect people. Welcome and thank you for spending this part of your day with me. Today I'm talking about... I wanted to give some uh, attention to the topic of how to become a happier, more well-adjusted person when you just don't really feel good on a regular basis. A lot of times we can be dealing with difficulties that we pass through and then we feel better, but then there, there are times when some of us can find ourselves in a space for a long period of time and just generally we are not thriving. We are not feeling good about our lives or ourselves and we don't always know what to do. This is a, a difficult topic because in reality there is no easy way to deal with this or to pacify this. It does require some effort on your part. It does require some work on your part and some shifting on your part. And sometimes the energy that it requires is simply not the energy that you have. So I deal with a lot of people on a regular basis as a healer and as um, someone who is in the health and wellness industry as a coach and a spiritual mentor. And whenever the people come to me, obviously they're coming to me with a particular life challenge that they're grappling with and they're coming to me with an intention to try to find something that's going to help them change the trajectory of what's happening in their lives. And I find myself sometimes, um, as I make a multitude of different suggestions, depending upon the person and what they might be dealing with, I find myself uh, oftentimes saying some things that are similar because I'm seeing some underlying issues that have a similar cause. I'm not one to really deal too much with the symptoms of issues, although I have in my trick bag many things to help my clients deal with some of the symptoms. I, I really believe in getting to the root of what is going on. So I, I'm trying to think which one of these two things I want to say first. The first thing that I believe that you need to do when you feel when you're not feeling good about life in general and you're not happy and, 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 and feeling joy and bliss on a regular basis the first thing you have to do is to realize that in some place somewhere in your life you are not in alignment with what your soul needs that is a very important realization. And the reason why it's so important is because to realize that somewhere in your life, your experience is speaking to you and saying, this is not right. You're going in the wrong direction. Something is not okay here. We need you to take stock of it. We need you to shift and turn around and do a 360. You gotta be able to see that it's time for a change and whatever it is that you're doing in your life, it is not working. And it's the very things that you have been doing in your life that have brought you to this particular precipice. That is so important, but it cannot be taken for granted that that is not always easy for us. We think that it's a particular situation that has brought us to a particular point that we may find ourselves at. Usually it's not a particular situation. It's a series of decisions and it's a series of patterns and ways of living and being that cause you to arrive at a place of dissatisfaction in your life. Number two, something else that I recommend for you when you're at a space in your life where you're not happy and feeling, you're feeling dissatisfied is you need to get an energy clearing. We uh, maintain everything else in our lives. We maintain our cars. We uh, can keep up with the upkeep of our homes. We wash the dishes. We get the dust off the floors. We vacuum. We do everything that's required to keep us employed by going to work on time, being punctual, 
doing the at-home assignments or whatever else we have to do. We take care of everything else in our lives. But one of the things we forget is that as energy beings, we have to take care of our energy. Hello, we have to take care of our energy. And when you don't spring clean your energy, when you don't seasonally clean your energy, when you don't clear your energy, when you don't protect your energy, when you don't set boundaries for your energy, quite naturally, you're going to absorb the consequences of everything that's going on around you. And that energy is going to eventually become heavy and it's going to keep you feeling stuck. So getting an energy clearing from a, an energy practitioner, someone in energy medicine, a Reiki practitioner, someone who did, does uh, EFT therapy, pranic healing, um, some type of energy modality is going to help you tremendously. Energy healing is proven, it's becoming more and more accepted in the mainstream. The research behind it is uh multiplying it is something that we are all going to have to come to terms with sooner or later that we cannot just medicate with pharmaceuticals that um, psychological treatments and therapies and seeing the psychiatrist and so forth is not the only answer and it's not the sole answer that there are things that are happening in our energetic bodies either from past traumas dysfunctional ways of coping unhealthy habits whether they be eating coping with grief, whatever's going on, that it's in your energy field. And until you begin to understand the importance of balancing your energy field, these things are going to be there. And even when you make certain changes in your life, unless and until you begin to really clear your energy in meaningful ways and in targeted ways, that some of the residue of whatever it is you're dealing with is not going anywhere anytime soon. So really understanding the need to clean your energy. The third thing that I want to talk about is changing the way you think. Changing the way you think. The way you think is the way you create. And what you have created is responsible or is reflected in your environment. What you see around you is what you have created in your life. It's really that simple and it's just that real. If you look at your life and you look at all the things in your life, make a list of all the things in your life that you're not satisfied with. Okay, even the things that you see as things that happened to you, those were things that you allowed to happen. Those were things that you could say you became a victim of, but you helped create those situations. Taking responsibility for how you think and what you have created in your life is one big major way because when you release yourself of the need to blame other people, the only person you can look at is yourself and really you're the only one that can change your circumstances. So changing the way you think and understanding that when you are not feeling well, because we are connected at the subatomic level and your body, mind and spirit are all one, when your energy is low and you're not feeling well, you need to go to the source of your thinking. When your body's feeling heavy, and you're not feeling well, you need to go to the source of what did you do for your body to show it that you care today. When your spirit is low and you're not feeling as though you're thriving, you need to ask yourself, what did you do for yourself today to lighten your spirit? All of these things are connected. And it's a very serious thing when you start to consider the various ways that they're all intertwined. So how you think is something that you have control over, but oftentimes it's on autopilot the majority of the day. If we have upwards of 70 something thousand thoughts and the vast majority of them are just being pumped out through your subconscious mind and you're not aware of the thoughts that you have that are disempowering you, then you're not always gonna understand and see the, the connect between why it is you're feeling the way you're feeling and why it is you're attracting certain things into your life. Your thoughts are powerful, your thoughts are energy. Okay, and they can't afford to be on autopilot. So you got to begin to start changing the way you think. You got to invite new awarenesses in your life. You got to attend self development classes, energy workshops. You got to find the kind of uh, programming for your mind that's going to help you to make the shifts that you need to make. You've got to stop blaming other people. You've got to start taking responsibility for what you've created. You got to look to you as the source of healing that you need. It's not going to come from without. It's going to come from within. Let's face it, we are the ones that we've been waiting for. And number four, 
the fourth thing that you can do to begin to take control over feelings of sadness or dissatisfaction with your life or just not being happy in general is mindfulness 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 allows you to connect with what you're feeling in your inner landscape mindfulness allows you to connect with the thoughts that are going through your mind mindfulness mindfulness allows you to connect with the present moment and whenever you connect with the present moment you place your state you place yourself in a state of healing and, and relaxation in the present moment is where God is in the present moment is where your sense of connection is. In the present moment is where infinite possibilities are. In the present moment is where relaxation is. In the present moment is where gratitude is. In the present moment is where love is. Everything you need is in the present moment. And there's a saying, and I don't know who I got it from, but I like it because it says, Getting to the present or something about being in the present is the hardest place to get to despite the fact that we're already there. You are in the present, but 90% of the time you're living in the past, worried about something that really is an illusion at this point. It never happened. Can you prove it happened? And if you can prove it happened, can you improve the legitimacy of it and how it happened and what actually happened from an objective standpoint? Everybody saw it differently. They now have research now that shows a longer time goes in between an event and you. There's an 80% chance that that thing becomes totally convoluted and you can't even really get a handle on what really happened. So we spend so much time Digging in the past, I always say, um, this is a, and this is a quote from Usui Sensei, uh, where we get Usui Reiki from, it, it, that the past is the source of all confusion. So we spend a lot of time in the past and our power is not in the past. And if we're not in the past, we're angsting or we have anxiety about the future, which is really a modern day form of accepted insanity. It's a source of stress for us. It, it's a great uh, portion of the distress that we feel on a daily basis and quite frankly we can't do anything about it but one thing you can remember is that your future is created in the present and in reality you really only have this moment you don't have um, tomorrow you don't have the next minute you have now so mindfulness allows you to slow down it allows you to get perspective on what's really important. It gives you a chance to regroup and recenter and to get in touch with the divine life force energy that's coursing through your veins, okay, your breath. And it allows you to really see what's important. And it's only in this moment where you're free to open up to the infinity of things that can come into your life that can solve the very things that you perceive as problems. So you're with Tanisha Ali on Butterfly Transformations. If you are interested in spiritual mentoring, if you are vibing with me and you want an energy clearing from a distance, a Reiki session, chakra balancing, Kamyo Reiki, Usui Reiki, um, uh, Karuna Ki or Karuna Chi Reiki, um, I'm certified in three different modalities. I've been doing energy work for over going on seven years now, I think. It's a way of life for me. It helped me to manage and eventually become sober from my intense anxiety and insomnia, something that characterized my life for over 20 years. I'm in a space now where going on 50 years old almost in a few years. I'm 48 now, getting ready to be 48 in another couple months, three, four months. Um, I'm in better health. I look better. I live better. I think better. I am better than I've ever been in my life. Um, so if you're interested in any of these kinds of services, check in the description. You'll see my link. You can uh, book a session at HidayaReiki.com if you're looking for some energy hearing or a tarot and oracle card reading, or if you're interested in some spiritual mentoring or coaching, or even my online school, you want to take a class, fill me out, you know, you want a lower investment, go to ButterflyTransformations.com. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you are just interested in other topics and things you want to talk about, things that you're experiencing, please uh, leave a comment on the channel. I'll be more than happy to give back. I love to get information and um, I love to get um, suggestions and comments for discussion, things that we can dialogue about. I love to do that here on the channel. Tanisha Ali, I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful, and productive day. 
Go out, go forth, multiply, be prosperous, and live abundantly. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.